Well, I think there's a lot of good people, fantastic facilities, a lot of good players. And uh, I think the previous management team did a pretty good job. And um, I, I bring a, a sort of different edge than than what they had, if I'm honest. A, a, a little bit more abrasive on our approach. And uh, notwithstanding or taking anything away from the previous people who've done the job, I have a different outlook of how I think we should play. Um, and I think we've got the resources here to to do that. We've just got to look at the positives of what was created under the previous regime and, and build on that. And ho hopefully complement it with uh, some selective recruitment in one or two areas moving forward and reward the, 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 the owners. We want to reward the supporters with uh, highly competitive performances at home. We've certainly got the talent. We've certainly got the wherewithal and the exp expertise. It's just... Um, you know, putting all the ingredients into the saucepan and getting the right um, pie out of it at the end of the day, you know. And I, I think the ingredients are here, they, they've just not been utilised as well as they could have been. I think the difference between the teams over the next three, four years are those who are smartest in their recruitment, those who have the best academy providing kids, and those who can find the odd gem. And for most of you who know my background, I operated for a long time on maybe 50, 60% of everybody else's salary cap in Manchester. So I know how to do it. So I'm confident of putting together a highly competitive squad that will be respected in the competition. What I think is reasonably simple is operating on a fair and equal budget, getting people to run through brick walls for you, getting people to have a desire that certainly the lads that play for Worcester base the team around um, the Worcester region, which I did exactly up the road in Manchester, which there might be six or seven South Africans, but there's 35 lads who were born 40 miles from Sale. So that, that has to be the, 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 the elementary entry point. Get the academy running as well as we can get it. Get the recruitment done. Find the gems that are in the championship or lower or in Eastern Europe or wherever my contacts deliver them people from. And... And, and get them well coached, but let's not go too far off the basics. You, know, you need ball carriers, you need bump, you need people who can get over the gain line. The technical coaches in the previous jobs I have are second to none. They can do the job, their job's far better than me. What I can do is pull it together and send us out. And every team I've been involved with since playing, every dog has a bite. And that's what Worcester will have over the next six months. There's a skill of getting people to work for you and you've got, they've got to build a rapport and a trust with you. Everybody, it's a level playing field. We'll, 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 we'll see over the next month which players really stand up. I think, I think we'll do things smarter because of my experience, but you know what I'm not going to do is reinvent the wheel. It doesn't need to. If anything, I'll be, um, I'll be taking some of the panniers off the bike. I'll be, uh, I'll be stepping back to basics. We'll be direct and we'll be honest. And if we get beat, it'll be by a better team.